this tutorial on how to use Google Draw for blueprinting as well as converting that into something that can be used for the laser cutter. Now, blueprinting is a very important process of designing any sort of, well, anything. Your blueprint is going to be your reference that you can always go back to, look at what those sizes were, because a lot of times you start and stop a project multiple times within a day, within a week, a month, year, or even several years. And if you don't have a blueprint to go back and reference to, you get kind of a weird mishmash blob where nothing lines up correctly, and we want to avoid doing that. Uh, so instead, we're going to be using Google Drawings as our way of doing some online blueprinting for us. However, I really truly believe the best way to do any sort of blueprinting is with pen and paper and then take photos if you need to do that. Uh, anyways, let's get started on this. So we're going to be referencing back to that pencil box we created. We're going to create our blueprints for that. And then I'm going to show you how we use that and turn it into something we can then three or uh, use our laser cutter on. So the first thing that we're going to really need to do is grab a shape and we want to grab a square shape here. Now I'm just dragging out a random size for our blueprinting purposes right now because I'm going to be focusing on the specific blueprinting portion of it. Uh, nothing too hard to do. So I've just made a regular box here I'm going to want to make it a transparent box so there's nothing inside of it. And we have our nice straight lines. Next, I'm going to grab the other box. And, you know, we had some of these smaller boxes here, right? So if we were to look back onto our uh, pencil box that we designed in Google SketchUp, we had three boxes on the first row and three boxes below. So what I'm going to do is I select that. I want to make sure I get rid of the inside. Grab that and I'll just go control C for copy and control V for paste. And do you see how these red lines show up here? That is going to be allowing us to make sure these are lined up correctly like that. We can do that again, control V, grab it down here. And same thing, we're wanting to line it up with the boxes we have above. So we see that red line is showing up that it's lining up perfectly centered with it. Uh, the vertical one and the horizontal one is lining up with our bottom row. Same thing there. We can see that's snapping into place like that. Good. So this is a very basic blueprint. We just have our design on here and that's it. What we need to do now is create some information for us to use. So I'm going to be using this line here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag, create a little line here, a little line here. And I'm not worried about it being specifically straight for this one. And then same thing here. We need a horizontal, well, vertical but this is going to be our horizontal one here. Next, we're going to just grab an insert text box and right above this first line we have here, I'm just going to type in six inches. So I know that's six inches. I can click here for a text box, same thing, make a text box of any size. And we had this one set at three and one half inches. And then you can play around with how, how that text lines up specifically. Remember, Control Z is always your best friend for these things. So like that, I like how that looks. And then I need to create in here those smaller lines so I can tell what the distance was I had between this outer line, this inner line, uh, same thing here. And uh, if I wanted to, I could then also say, you know, this is one and three quarter inches lined out there. So let me just run through this quick while you're doing the same. See if there's any. Let me get that to work better. Nope. I just need my line here. And then to zoom in. 
I was going to say hit control and then zoom in. That doesn't always work, so instead you can just use this zoom tool here and then scroll where you need it to go. You can keep zooming in if it makes it easier for you. So I'll grab this, and this line here, this line here, and another here. Remember, we wanted this one set to 1 8 inch. And again, the reason for this is because it's very important to have blueprints. That's why we're doing this. On top of that, when you create your own products, I'm going to be asking that you submit blueprints for it as well. And this is probably the easiest way for you to always have those blueprints on hand. So you can see that text is a little too big. So what I'll do is I'll shrink that text down here. Uh, we'll make it one eighth. And I forgot this top one was actually one sixteenth. If stuff starts going all awry, it's easier just to delete everything and start over, just like in SketchUp. Set that at six, maybe make that larger. And I'll move that up there. There we go. <clears throat> like that. And we'll go another line here. What I'm going to do on this one, I'm actually just going to control C and control V that text box because I like the size of that font and then just do my edits there. There we go. And if I zoom out, you can see I have this nice kind of determined, predetermined uh, pencil box blueprint that allows me to see it. I really wanted to, I could also go crazy and make a side view here, really easy. I'll show you how to do that. So then here, we have three and a half. Uh, let's go here, make that transparent. And then same thing, remember, we could label this one as side view. So I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna type in side view. And then this would be three inches tall and this would be three and a half inches wide. It is also important if you label what you're looking at on your blueprints as well just so you uh, remember what it's going to look like. So and this is top down. Once you start getting into more complex items, you're gonna wanna start making also more if you have a specific design on the bottom, you're gonna wanna blueprint what the bottom looks like, specific design on the top, on the sides, uh, all those things. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is a reference video for you to have after we cover it in class.